Hey Taurus, it is me, Alex, and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. I hope you guys are doing well. Let's see what God Angels in Universe has for you. Okay, Taurus, yay, Ten of Pentacles, money, money, honey, prosperity. Uh oh, Leo, that's greed. Uh oh, it's hard headedness. It's bringing swords, Nine of Cups. Eight of Cups. Oh, sorry. Too high. Too high. I feel like there's a beautiful opportunity in front of you, but somebody is being stubborn based on their... some pain that they're experiencing. It's almost like instead of flourishing with this new opportunity, you're being hard-headed because you're protective of your heart. Mm, that's interesting. Oh, angels just said greed. Okay. Okay. Because you're afraid that something is going to be taken away from you again or removed. So it's almost like you're clamping down on it. Your your possessive possessiveness is at an is at an all-time high. I also kind of feel like you're trying your hardest not to make this decision based on your emotions. But that's all you're doing is making this decision based on your emotions. Because I feel like here, whatever the long-term investment or opportunity is, um, you're very headstrong. You know what you want. You know how you want this to turn out. But your headstrong is coming from what you're telling yourself about how to protect your heart. I hope that makes sense. Mm, that's deep. This is, you know, staying up at night, being stressed and worried and anxious, can't sleep. You're afraid of love going away. Oh, your heart is active. That's what it is. And because your heart is active, right, it's making you stressed because you're nervous, worried or scared about being hurt again. And it's causing you to act like a tallywhacker. Hmm. So if you, if this is resonating with you and you, your heart is active, it's not going to be the person who leaves you because of them. They're going to leave you because of how you are acting, by the way, right? The King of Wands is a dick. Sorry. And there's the deception. So that kind of says to me, especially with that seven of swords, four cups here, Taurus, do you really want this relationship? Do you really want this opportunity? Because it's almost like it's it's here. I got the Ten of Pentacles and a Queen and Ace of Pentacles, right? So you have a viable opportunity in front of you. Rock solid. Have the Four of Wands here. There is success here. You can achieve success here. But I kind of feel like however you tried to slice dice and manipulate this, that's going to be what tears it up. Not the person, not the situation itself. It's your actions towards this situation. Right? Seven of Swords is, you know, I'm going to do whatever I, it's sneaky behavior. I'm going to do whatever I got to do to keep myself from getting hurt, but I'm going to act like I'm okay. Ooh. Somebody may be deceitful about wanting something long term because they're turning their back on the opportunity. Oh, that's what it is. They're they're pretending to want something long term. But that King of Wands is like, no, I just want right now. Be careful about moving in with somebody, too, is what I'm hearing, right? The Four of Wands is the home card. So it's almost like, ooh, don't make no heavy investment in this situation. No, 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 no. I would not recommend that. Because somebody is pretending like, oh, yeah, you know, I make such and such, and 
I can help you with the rent and we can get a house this amount and I could pay for this, that or the other. No, they can't. They're lying, by the way. Ooh, I don't know who reading this is. Taurus, do not invest yourself or time or energy in somebody like this because they're lying. You're either dealing with a Leo. I wouldn't even say Pisces, but it could be a Pisces as well. Somebody who has a lot of pride and they want to look all like they got it made and, you know, they flossing and, oh no, Taurus, watch your money. Wheel of Fortune, yeah. Mm, Page of Pentacles, nice. See, that's confirmation right there. This King of Wands don't have King of Pentacles money. They only have Page of Pentacles money. So they're trying to, to, to make this one pentacle seem like it's 10. No, they just got one pentacle, Taurus. Don't trust this. Eight of Swords. This has happened to you before. Hoo-wee. There's, there's the Star card. Again, they're trying to make it seem like... the. Mm, they trying to make to to glorify this one pentacle. And you see it right here. You see the page of pentacles. They're deceiving you to make it seem like they have 10 of pentacles. That that Leo that um King of Wands to me in this situation is a liar. I always say the lion lion. Okay? They can, ooh, angels just also said to check their references, right? Now, you can't check nobody's damn references if you're dating them. But if this is somebody you're hiring, yeah, check their references. But if you're dating this person, just ask them about their employment history. Oh, this job you're working on now. How long have you been there? Oh, two months. Okay, so what did you do before that? Oh, I worked here. And how long did you work there? Six months. That would be a big ass red flag for me. Now, a red flag in dating, just getting to know them? No. A red flag in maybe trying to build a life with them, moving in with them? Hell yeah. Mm, this is just raggedy. This right here, just ugh. Stuck in their mental thoughts. Hurt and third party, burnt out. You've been here before, I heard that I'm hearing. You've had to float and or carry someone before. I also kind of feel instinctually, you know not to go into this. That's what I heard in intuitively. Instinctually, you know, mm -mm, this. It, I feel like as ugly as these cards are, is how you're looking at your situation, um, Taurus. Excuse me. Your situation is just as ugly as these cards right here. Mm-hmm. But I feel like somebody's trying to game you. Star card. Oh no, it'll be okay. Um, as long as we're together, you know, of course I'm gonna pay my rent. Of course I'm. A, I mean, I love. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Th wait three months. Angels are saying wait three months, because I also kind of feel like whomever this person is, um, this new job that they received they may quit or get fired or removed from that situation. I also feel this person doesn't want to work. They want to live up off of you. Oh, whose reading is this? I have Sagittarius, Virgo, Leo, Aquarius, Pisces, and that is all. So not a lot of major arcanas. Leo, that's it. Mm. Pisces. Taurus, I would say to you, beware. Beware, especially when it comes to your money and uh, combining your money with someone else's money. Beware. Right? I have the Seven of Pentacles here, overanalyzing. Um, yeah, it kind of feels like you're going to have to pull back. You're, In other words, you're going to have to not make this, this decision based on emotions. Universe is wanting you to take to analyze this. Don't make this decision based on your heart. Make it with your head and sensibility. Because at least I don't feel like this is a good situation for you to be in financially. Again, 
if you're just dating there's no financial loss or no financial threats proceed as you would like but in in um blending monies mm, i wouldn't compromise and i i just heard too that some of you guys are physically in this situation and you're trying to figure out how to get out of it trust yes meditation brings answers get more information and romance that again pull your heart take those rose colored glasses off and stop looking at this person as a lover and start looking at them as a money manager or someone you know how they manage their money communicate clearly I also kind of feel like by the time you took the rose colored glasses off, you did see this poor financial manager and that's what's turning you off. Mm, I'm so sorry. This is a crappy reading. The wheel of fortune here kind of says that you will prosper. Okay. Which, you know, we did, I did see the 10 of pet, 10 of cups here under the three of wands. I feel like within three months you will level out and you will regain your happiness. I do kind of feel like if this is your situation, you may eventually wind up walking away from this person because of their lies, because of their inability to do their part, do their half. Um, and I feel like eventually whenever you break this cycle or break this relationship, you know, kind of remove yourself from this situation, um, prosperity will be restored, which is why the Ace of Pentacles is here. So it's almost like 10 of pentacles, ace of pentacles, you're prosperous all on your own. You don't need anybody else to, to prosper. I feel like you could do it on your own. And I feel like this other person coming in is going to distract or throw you out of alignment. And if you allow it to momentarily, you're going to be out of alignment. But once you continue to like rebuild or fight or remain in alignment prosperity will be yours again so it's almost like you had to go through this maybe to solidify your bag or learn a lesson about your money and not in you know intertwining it even in marriage right um what i'm just going to quote steve harvey because it's like the most recent advice i heard he says have four accounts one for you one for your person one for your house you know, your bills and stuff and one for like vacations or even retirement, right? So even in marriage, the advice is to keep your money separate. Here, it kind of looks like you might have involved your money with somebody else who just was not a great manager of money. But in the end, Taurus, I do feel like you're going to um, recover. I do. I do. I do. I do with this Ace of Pentacles. And I just think, again, this is a valuable lesson that the universe is teaching you. All right, Taurus, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I love you. Bye.